What's going on everybody? Super Rhino 57 here with another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. And I realize I am way behind on this because Sky Factory 3 is already out and I'm still working on Sky Factory 2. So, I've done a lot of progress off screen to kind of catch up a little bit. It's mostly stuff I covered in the last season, so or most of it anyways. I got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of growth pulsers going and it's raining over here of course. And these farms are all just super ridiculous. Okay, and then look at this. Look at all that soul sand. Over 240,000, 161,000 redstone. Just everything. It's just crazy. 53,000 Minisio blocks. 10,000 more growth bolsters. Got all kinds of automation going. Including all these machines over here. Uh, these are just uh, a bunch of alloy smelters all fully upgraded with the octatic capacitors. As well as pulverizers. All resonant, all with the speed uh, augs, augmenters to uh, speed them up. I got some sieves over here. The reason these sieves are going is they are working on crushed in stone. I'm getting some draconium through here. And in case you noticed underneath, I have cryo stabilized flux duct to transfer power quickly. And they're really easy to make. Okay, I don't have any in my inventory. Cryo stabilized. There we are. All you do is get some gel cryothium, through cryothium dust, just snowball. I've got, I had those crops automated. Whoa. Sorry about that. Had a page open and an ad popped up on that page. It was really loud in my ears. I know y'all could barely hear it. But anyways, uh, blizz powder, simple. All I gotta do is snowball redstone. So with all that crop automated, I just threw a bunch of snowballs in here, a bunch of redstone, bada bing bada boom. Got the fluid transposer over there. And uh, get, oh, get the empty one, all you need is redstone energy flux duct, which is redstone and the empty flux duct, which is just hardened glass and electrum ingots. All really easy. Anyways, I have upgraded my ME system. Check this out, 256K storage. And I have the crafting of which automated. There we go. Look at that. 64K, 120, 100, 1024K. Where is it? Where'd it go? There it is. 256K. Automatically crafted. It's kind of slow. I'm upgrading it. Anyways, I've expanded my base to kind of compensate for the machines. I have gotten every essence I need, or not essence, um, uh, yeah, aspects. Yeah, I need over here. We will get into that in a second. I've done some more automation down here. Upgraded these to pulverizers, and then a couple of hammers for what needs to be hammered. Um. So yeah, pretty good on resources and everything. Uh, added a sugarcane farm, and done a bunch of research. But now on to the main aspect of today's episode, and that is back into Thomcraft. Now. I have everything I need right here. Let's get all this. Do 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 do. Um, no, I don't need those. I have the, those two there. You get the glasses, all this stuff. Boom. So, what we are making today is an infusion altar. Now, to make the infusion altar, what we need is. I'm going to mark, I've marked the center, whoa, started to fall, mark the center here, this is the center, because, you know, I'm OCD, I have to have it centered, so, I need to put a pedestal here, here we go, oh, there we go, so, I'm going to put a, I thought I put, uh, put the pedestal there, so there, one arcane pedestal, surrounded by, Arcane stone bricks on the four corners, and then stone blocks. And I, oh, there we go. Shift that. Now, to go on top of that, you need a runic matrix. Now, where is, where is my book? Did I put it in here? No. That's some more stuff I'm working on off camera. It's just my auto wither farm. I showed all that last 
yeah, in two, uh, season two. So here we go. Let's see, where is the runic matrix? Alchemy? No, it's not alchemy. Thaumaturgy? Artifice, there we are. I know it's in here. I'm pretty sure it's in here. Yeah, there it is. Infusion. Now, for the running matrix, you need 40 ordo. The only wand strong enough to hold 40 ordo is a great wood wand. And as discussed in previous episodes, to get the great wood, I need the infusion. So what do we do there? Well, if we go down here to the X asterisk, it took me forever to find this. Here's how you make a runic matrix from the sky. All the stuff you can do. So, I've already got everything gathered up right here. Not in there. Here we go. Got the four stone blocks, mixed crystals, into pearl. And then I got my gold band one in there just for one aspect of each. And boom, we have a runic matrix. Um, also, I believe I'm going to need another pedestal. There we go. Go ahead and take my wand down. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this set up. So runic matrix goes one block above that center pedestal. So now we'll break this and let's get our iron capped wand since it's got the most discs. I don't know if it, this requires any, but do you shift right click or do you right click the what? Okay, doing something wrong here. Hold on. And I'm back. And I did some more research, and I cannot believe I did not notice this before. I don't think it's in here. I looked around, and I couldn't really find it. Then again, I didn't look that hard. But let me just double check. Okay, that's the Sky Factory. Where's the actual? There it is. Okay, I don't see it. Okay, anyways. Whenever you go to right-click the matrix, as you see, I can I have already done that, just so I could get it working, is your wand has to have full capacity of 25. This, of each kind, all six of them. The wand I was using, I think Ignis, the fire wand, the fire, this, was at 24.3. So I went and maxed it out and came back, and sure enough, bada bing, bada boom. Now, for the rituals, as you can see, I've placed a bunch of mixed crystal clusters, zombie heads, and skeleton skulls all around because they help with the balance of the uh, altar. In which case, uh, if you look, the one I'm going to be doing, hmm, is it in? No, it's. Here we go. Great wood from the sky. Instability, dangerous. Means this ritual is very unstable. But all the crystal clusters, zombie skulls, crust, uh, skeleton skulls help with this. It will help with the stability to make it better. Now, I really need this to work because, as you can see, I've only collected uh, enough for one. I believe. Did I? 64, 64, 120 arbor. I may have gotten extra of a few. I don't know. Anyways, so what we are going to need... I need to get my magnet off. Now, if you look in here, it says we need a shimmer leaf and a cinder pearl. Now, to get a shimmer leaf, we need four herba, four permutatio, and four precantio, magic exchange and plants. And you need a poppy. That needs to go into a boiling crucible. So, got a crucible here full of water, light it on fire, and we need. Move that, move that. There we go. And I've got enough just to get two, just in case. Here we go. So, oop. there we go. Also, it helps if you have your goggles on because you can see the ascension in there. So now I have two. Where'd they go? There they are. Shimmer leaves. And now we're going to do the same for the cinder pearl need Precancio, Herba, and Ignis. 
So bada bing bada boom. Um, it's best to use the files of this for the cauldron because leftover this will eventually turn into a purple goo that uh, flux goo I think is what's called that can really mess with you because it just sits here you can't pick it up in a bucket and it can give you all kinds of weird effects so anyways so now we have the two plants I need six buckets of witch water and a jungle sapling so I believe I have the yes buckets of witch water and I need a jungle sapling which I believe I have in here got five of them okay well shoot uh, get some more buckets just because you the items on the pedestal you do want to kind of have more because the inst the uh, instability of the spell can knock off the items in your altar so you do want to kind of have extra ready to go just in case so now I have 10, 11, 12, 13 buckets of witch water, two cinder pearls, jungle saplings, shimmer leaf. Oh, I hope this works. So here's what we need to do. As you can see, I need to have it in this exact order. So shimmer leaf across from the cinder pearl. So we'll do it here. There we go, come on, there we go. So, shimmer leaf, and then across is the cinder pearl. Now the three buckets of witch water, and three more. And last but not least, there's that. Now, oh, I probably wanna leave that down there, so I've got Make sure I have everything. There's that, and my wand. So to start the ritual, just right click it. Oh, did you hear that sound effect? It's going to start drawing in all of this. Now watch carefully. This is when things can start going haywire. You want to make sure nothing pops off. Come on. This takes a while. Oh, there's explosions. It's not good. Don't knock anything off. It's doing very good. Okay, everything's still spinning in place. Okay, this is getting very boring already. <laughs> Don't make it exciting, though. I'd rather have boring. Boring is good. Just ignore me. Also, when you're placing your crystals and skulls and everything, try and balance it out one side and the other. Make it complete opposite as far as I got crystal, crystal, skull, skull, crystal, crystal, zombie, skeleton. That's what I meant. Is It has to be exact. They have to match. And I'm not sure if it's left, right. Oh. Left, right, top, bottom, or what. Oh goodness. So I just kind of threw everything. I just got zombie skulls. That's all I got. Torch. Did that bucket go missing too? Okay, it's back. Okay. Oh, come on. See, there's the flux I was telling you about. That can give you weird effects. I got flux flu. No idea what it's going to do to me. It's still draining. Also, I did a very easy pattern to remember, so as things fell off, I can easily just put them back. Come on. 
you know, the only way to get the flux fluid to go away is I have to break everything underneath it. Or there's an item later on in the game, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it basically absorbs any flux goo in a 25 block radius. So that'll definitely help later on, but I don't think I'll be getting that far into Thumbcraft. I know this, I know Thumbcraft can really take you in depth. Oh no, 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 no. There we go. It's looks like it's almost done. I've got flux flu. I think it's just because I'm in the vicinity of that thing is it's making me sick. Okay, and I do apologize for the sound effects. It is very loud and I would pause it and turn the volume down but that would kind of delay the process and it's taken a while already so I'm just trying to say okay come on get it over with let's finish I don't know how much more you have left I know you still have to absorb the items oh I probably should turn that down because once the absorbing starts that is very very loud let's turn that let's just turn the master volume down that's a little bit better Come on. Come on. <sighs> so, how was your day? I was okay. Just sat here watching computer screen forever. No, quit it. Okay, it's absorbing the items. There's the witch water. I can't tell if it took this into pearl or did it? It worked. Check that out. Great wood sapling. All that was just for a great wood sapling, and that is why you carry extras of everything. Okay, well I got everything cleaned up. Everything looks good again, and I've already been farming some great wood. Interesting to note. Interesting to note is the uh, growth pulsers down here do affect the great wood saplings. However, my farming station would not harvest it, so I had to go get some crooks and harvest it myself. So that was strange. But anyways, we got extra uh, saplings now, and I got the logs I need to perform. Let's see, I don't have any produce yet. There we go. Okay, I have produce here in this. Not perform, but I need to create the great wood rod. And now, oh, I have the rod, gold one caps, thomium one caps, there we go, just need thomium nuggets, okay, um, there's my thomium ingots, I need two of them, because I need ten, So, 10. Come on. There we go. Two. And now Thumbium plus Great Wood Rod. Wait, why didn't that work? Oh, I've got to perform another ritual. I need Salus Mundus. Create Salus Mundus. Bounce shard. Or a bounce to this shard. How? Okay. There's a bounce to this. Okay. So I just need to add these aspects in here. 
throw in an air shard and I get a balance shard. Okay, so I just need to do that a few times. Not a problem. So I'm going to do all that off cam and I'll be right back. And I am back for one final note. Um, I'm not going to be able to do this ritual today just because uh, to do the ritual it requires Aurum. And while I have discovered that aspect, I did so through research. I have yet to find a block that contains it for me to get the actual essentia for the ritual. So I'm going to have to keep doing research for that. And uh, as soon as I get that done, I guess that will, that will be for the next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment, question, suggestions if you have any. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.